everyone, welcome to Pipes, Tobacco, and Whiskey. So you might be wondering why we're wearing the same clothes as we did in last week's episode. Well, we recorded all of these on the same day because I'm going on vacation next week. So we wanted to get a few episodes recorded. In the uh, bank. Yeah, put them in the bank so that we had something to send you guys while I was on vacation. So today, uh, we're going to kind of go a little off the beaten path and we're going to uh, start looking at some of Watch City Cigar and Pipes mm -hmm. tobaccos. And today we're doing an English from them and it's called Terrapin Station. Now, uh, of course, this is an English uh, blend and it's got Black Cavendish, Burley, Cavendish, Latakia, and Virginia's in it. It has a topping on it. They say it's a sweet sugar topping. Uh, but I also taste something very familiar to Sutliff. Mm -hmm. uh, Sutliff has got their secret sauce that they use. Yep. Uh, and it's almost, it's on every one of their Cavendish, their black Cavendishes mm -hmm. that they use. And I'm suspecting that maybe Watch City sources their bulk tobaccos from uh, Sutliff. And maybe that's why. I don't know. I don't, I can't you know attest to that but that's what it kind of feels like uh it's a ribbon cut comes in bulk uh it's available all the time uh, the strength on this is a medium the flavoring is mild and the taste is you know it, they said moderate i'm going to say this is more of a medium english taste Really? Yeah. So a little more up there? Yeah, a little, a little stronger than, than normal. So anyway, let's jump in and, and talk about this one. All right. So uh, we're talking about Tin Note. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, so this is from like this month. I just got that like <laughs> two days ago. Yeah, I just got that two days ago. So it's pretty fresh. Ugh. So by the way, this is our first tasting. Yes, our very we first We have not tasted it. this. I've not smoked this before this episode. So you're getting my first impressions and you're getting Nathan's first impressions on this. So I do have to say that all of this, all the ingredients and all the things they're using in here, they're, they're either balancing really well or they're all fighting for first place so much that none of them win. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> It's a super, I mean, it's a very, there's some smokiness, there's some mustiness, there's some of that earthy, there's some of that light, tangy barbecue scent. Um, I, I do feel like the Latakias are kind of winning out a little bit, but that's that's just because that's what Latakias do. You throw it in the blend, you're going to smell it, you're going to taste it, you're going to you're gonna know it's there. But every other scent that's coming through, at least on the 10 note, very, very moderate. And I, 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 not a bad thing because I am not a huge English smoker. So this is this is an inviting English scent to me. Some of them get a little too overpowering. Some of them, because as you can tell, as a Virginia smoker, my nose is right in the jar when I'm doing it. I did that to one of the Englishes that you have, and I almost got knocked out <laughs> <laughs> because my head was in the jar smelling, and it hit. I am enjoying that one, but it's it's very toned very moderate on this sense they're not as strong yeah it's a typical english scent yeah um i is the latakia is primary in this uh i agree i get smokiness i get a, a light musty sweetness earth wood you know but that barbecue i get that yeah. vinegar barbecue a little bit get a little bit of the nuttiness from the burley but very light very light but when i when i give this a whiff I, I i get traditional english scents from this i do too and there that topping the topping is evident mm -hmm. it's evident in the in the tin note as well so you can smell a little bit of that sweetness from the topping but primarily it's a smoky campfire yeah. kind of yeah. kind of smell and the barbecue like a barbecue potato chip you know yep, like yep, a yep. like a lays barbecue potato chip those spices on that potato chip is what i'm getting coming through on that tobacco yeah yeah and it's just it's not overwhelming it's a very it's a very it's a very pleasant english smell it's just a traditional straightforward 
good English smell. I like it. Okay, well, let's, let's talk about the taste then. The taste. So, I don't know. I have to. I do have to kind of admit my one... The one thing I consider a fault, I do not smoke a lot of Settler stuff. Uh, I don't know why particularly. Well, this isn't Sutliff, but it tastes like it. It kind of smells like it. Yeah. And uh, I don't smoke a lot of Watch City Cigar. We tried uh, Nor'easter. That one was really, really good. Church Warden was Church Warden. Re- really good. And we also did Ahab's Comfort. No, we haven't done that, but you've smoked it. I have smoked it. Yeah, you smoked it, but we haven't done that. And one. those were all English blends, weren't they? Yes, they were flakes. They were all flake English blends. And I have to say, I enjoyed every single one of them. And and so far, when it comes to Watch City Cigar, they have a very pleasant way of doing Englishes. One that makes a Virginia smoker, such as myself, who finds that maybe a lot of Kia smoke is too thick. And sometimes I know you're not supposed to inhale, but sometimes I do on accident, and sometimes I don't care. So I do it anyway, and they can really cause a lot of fullness in my throat and can cause me to cough or things like that. I enjoy these Watch City Cigars uh, Englishes because they're coming out very, very, very nice, very smooth, very traditional flavors, because I do like the way Englishes taste. It's just not always something that I can handle on an empty stomach yeah. or at the end of a day or at the beginning of the day. This is something I feel like I could. Huh. Okay. Well, like I said, this is our first tasting, so I'll, I'll, I'll give you my impressions of what I'm getting. Uh, uh, there's, there is some sweetness to it, so I would consider this almost an, ar- an English aromatic or mm-hmm. an aromatic English. Uh they kind of call it an American English, so um, most American stuff starts yeah. as a. I get, I, I definitely get what you would get out of a, a typical Latakia blend, uh, some smoky and earthy and musty. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a little bit of sweetness that I'm tasting, a little bit of butteriness, mm-hmm. uh, kind of creamy a little bit, but um, this one, what I'm getting that's different than some of the other um, Englishes that I've tried is I'm getting a little nuttiness from from the burly a kind of a, an almost a, a molasses kind of taste to it um, maybe slightly honey yeah a little bit of honey a little bit maybe honey. from the Cavendish yeah, for or from that sugar sweet topping that they say they put on there. Yeah, um, the Virginias are difficult to, to kind of find in this one. Yeah, um, so I, I don't get a whole. I get a little bit of tart and tangy, but I don't get a lot of grassy or citrus or um, uh, kind of a dark fruit. I don't get those things that are coming through right now. But I can tell you that I am about oh. Maybe, maybe almost halfway through this already. Yeah, me too. And um, that Sutliff taste that I was talking about at the beginning of the smoke has has kind of subsided a mm-hmm. little bit. So it's it's kind of gone away. So um, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm wrong as for, as where as I far feel, as where they source it. But still, I feel like you should be allowed to be a little more critical. On this particular English blend, just because you're the English guy, so it's really kind of tough for me to pin it down. When I find an English that I feel like I can sit and smoke, oh, this is a damn good smoke. Yeah, that's kind of how I am on it. Um, but I don't regularly smoke Englishes, so sometimes I'm gonna go, no, I just it's not my cup of tea. And then this one, I would say, yeah, I could smoke this again. Well, this this for sure, as far as taste and as far as strength goes, is right in the middle. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a mm-hmm. medium on that um and it's it to me it, it the lot of kias are are what's dominant in this but you do get kind of some some uh, hints of other tobaccos in there like the the burley and some of those virginias yep, yep, yep. Uh, that come through uh, it's it's you know it's a good it's a good flavor it's a good taste i think so too yeah all right um what do you think about the room note on this i think the room note here is pleasant 
uh, once again, we're coming back to, like you said, it's very middle of the road, erring towards the lighter side of things, to me, when it comes to comparison to some of the Englishes I've smoked before, and I think this one is a pleasant room note. It leaves a good good amount of black Cavendish scent in the air. Some of that sweetness comes yes. through in, in the room note on this one. Yes. Yeah, you get a traditional English room note with this with just a hint of sweetness behind yeah. it yeah. is what it gets. Yeah, and I think that's a pleasant I smell. I think so too. I'm not sure that others would, would consider it pleasant. People who are are um, fond of English blends would, would really enjoy this one. Yeah, quite possibly. Yeah. What do you think about the moisture level on this? Now, we, like no, I said, we just no, got no. it a couple of days ago. Yeah, and I think it needs a little more dry time. Yeah, it is a little moist. Um, it just, most most come that way, uh, especially bulk blends. I, I think they leave them a little more moist because they just scoop it out and put it in a bag and, and send it to you. You know, so I've, I've had to have a couple relights on it, now, but I think that's the moisture level. Yeah. But it's smoking just fine once you get it going. Yeah, yeah, barely. I, I mean, it's I, to me. Not sure that it needs a whole lot of dry time, but it is just a tad moist. Uh, but but it's it's good to smoke the way it is. I think. Uh, what do you think about the nicotine content on this? Uh, man, it's it's really mild. It's really mild. You know, I, I was worried about having another smoke immediately after this one because I was like, man, I don't know if I can handle back to back smokes. With this one, it's I, I think it's a very, very, very light smoke. Yeah, I think if you're smoking it for the flavor. Yeah, I think as far as nicotine content, this is uh, I don't feel a thing. No, me neither. I, I, I don't get any hit from nicotine on this one yeah. at all. And I'm I'm really thinking this is this is a you are enjoying the flavor of this tobacco type of smoke. Yeah. Um, okay, so a little bit of background on this. Uh, apparently, this is a recreation of a blend that they used to have called Deep Ellum. And um, that, when they when they had Deep Ellum, and, and actually Deep Ellum, it said on their website, was their first pipe tobacco. Really? Their five, yeah, their first pipe tobacco blend. And they sourced all of that from McClellan. So once the McClellan, and what, what made that blend special was the McClellan Black Cavendish that they got, the 805. Okay. And um, once that went away, they had to kind of recreate uh, that blend. And of course, McClellan was unique. You, mm -hmm. you just don't find that blend anywhere. Uh, there are some out there that are they're very close, and, uh, and next week we're going to do a, a, a review on one that I think is about as close to a McClellan, Virginia, that I've ever tried. Um, I'm hoping so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, so they went out and, you know, had to s try all these different Cavendishes and, and everything, and they came up with, with something very close, which ultimately became this, the... Uh, Terrapin Station. So that's kind of what this this is. Now, I will say I do kind of agree. It does have a little bit of that that McClellan. Yeah, I don't know what special, it is. Special sauce. But yeah, just the the, the feeling you kind get of a and tingle it's on on the on the very sides back sides of your tongue. Yeah, that's that taste that I, that I kind of get from the McClellans. At least the ones that we've tried. Of course. I've only ever tried the McClellans after I've been old enough to smoke, which was before they, <laughs> after, after they died, they, after they after, went out, yeah. after they went out. So I've only ever had the McClellans as a, you know, here's an eighty dollar tin of smoke, and I'm like, shit, <laughs> you know. Well, there's a few, like I said, there's a few out there that are really close to getting that McClellan vinegary, mm -hmm. ketchupy kind of flavor. From the Virginias, I think so too. Uh, you know, uh, but this one, I I don't think is quite there. Mm -mm. Um, I can get where they're trying. Yeah, 
it has just a little bit of if you smoke it too fast and I've kind of, you know I've got a fast cadence so as I'm smoking this there's a little bit of a bite there just a slight bit of harshness there um, has a few rough edges uh, with all these tobaccos I mean there's one two three four five five, five different types of tobaccos in this thing they it's pretty balanced though they and blend well like like in the beginning of what I was saying I was curious if they are all incredibly well balanced or if they're all just such good standalone flavors that one's fighting for the lead and they're yeah. just washing each other out well the lot of kids win it for sure yes um, well, I mean it's in English yeah so yeah the lot of kids that's what's strongest want. on this um, it's you know there's there's a smooth creaminess to it I think so I, I you know I like it uh, definitely what I would call an American English or an, or an aromatic English uh, it burns pretty well uh consistent flavor uh, other than the fact that 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 subtle flavor that i was talking about has gone away yeah yeah uh y you're right some relights that that we've needed to do a little dampness dampness in the bowl uh at the end of this uh, towards the bottom here i had a little gurgle going on yep i did too um the aftertaste is pretty good i like it what do you think about do you think this is something that you could smoke all day Mm. Well, you, if you were an English person, I guess. Well, here's what I will say. I think that the Latakia causes me to, like, it depends on how much you smoke a day, in my opinion. If you smoke three or four bowls a day, yes. I think this is, I do not. I smoke probably five to six bowls a day. Yeah. Uh, especially when I'm at work. I'll have probably a bowl, a bowl and a half when I'm home at night. But during the first part of the day, I have I have to have my full cup of coffee and my pipe in the morning before I even hit the road. And I'll probably have three while I'm at work. And that's, that's probably about normal for most people nowadays. A lunch break bowl, a smoke break bowl, a second smoke break bowl if you work eight hours. And then whatever you smoke in the evening. So I'm thinking that, to me personally, no. Latakia is just a little too too harsh for heavy you. on your tongue. Yeah, it can leave some it can leave some burns on the top, and I want to be able to taste dinner. I, I just because of that subtle flavor, which I'm not particularly fond of. I'm not sure I would smoke this all day, but I could see how some people, who especially English people, uh, you know would be able to smoke yep. this all day because it's not like like i said the nicotine content is is almost zero uh it's 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 a medium strength yep. so yeah i mean i could see how people could smoke this okay well you can only get this at watchcitycigar.com um and it comes in bulk form you can get it in two ounce increments mm -hmm. So actually, it starts at two ounces. And yes. And then I think after that, you can get however many you want. Yes. And depending upon how much you order determines the price. So the the base price for two ounces is four ninety five an ounce, which is not bad. Uh, I definitely think, and, and trying different Watch City products... I think their best they're, deal. They're getting they're, good cigars. They're getting I mean, good, good, uh, good tobacco. Leaves. Yes, I think so too. And I think the best deal you can get is some of their group packages, where it's like one ounce of four different types of this of their all-time best. Yeah. And you just spend. I think it's what. Yeah, they're thirty like, bucks. Like I got, uh, I got their their flake sampler or something like that, where they yeah. sent a little bit of all their flakes. And, yeah, and yeah. they send us a, a, a sizable amount for you to try. That's their best deal on the website, but their bulk prices, I mean, it's not bad. I just know that having to buy two ounces and spending roughly two to three, two to about a dollar fifty more an ounce than other companies you can buy bulk from. Yeah, and, and I bought I bought two ounces of this one, and as you can see, it almost filled up my mason mm -hmm. jar. My, is this a pint? I think that's a pint mason jar. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think that's a pint. An American pint. Yeah. So anyway, you know, you get you're getting a quite a bit of tobacco. I think so. Plenty. Of it's not a bad. And here's the thing, it's not a bad smoke. I haven't tried any Virginias from Watch City Cigar. That's next week. Yeah, we're about to next week. Yeah. But I have not had a 
very bad smoke from Watch City Cigar on any of their Englishes. But I really like the way their Englishes come. Yeah. Um, of all the, the Englishes that I've tried from them, which I think this is the fourth or fifth one, um, I think their flakes are the best. Mm -hmm. uh, their flakes are the best. But this is, this is you know, pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, all right, so what are you going to give it? Uh, I think I'm going to give it a, well, compared to like Nor'easter and... Uh, but I think it was Church Warden that you that tried. Was it. That was it. Yeah. yeah. Once again, I come to the point where I wish there was half scores in between our half scores. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I'm, I, I think I'm going to give it a three. Just a solid three. It's pretty good. I like it. Uh, if it was offered to me, yes, I will have a ball. Um, I think there's some other ones that are right in the same price range, like their flakes, that I enjoy better. Yeah, I agree. Um, not my not my favorite English, but a good English. You know, a, a, a right there solid uh, English. I'm going to give it a three also. Yep. As a matter of fact, what I think I'm going to do with this is I'm going to press it. Ooh. I'm going. I'm going to go ahead and put all of this in a put press it into a cake and let it let it sit for two weeks and then try it. That might help kind of take a little bit of the edges off of it yeah that'd be cool we'll see yeah all right so three here we go Heck yeah so this is watch city cigar and pipe terrapin station uh solid three yeah i think so they have sampler packs that you can go in and try so if you're an english person you can try their english sampler if you're a virginia person you can go in and try their virginia sampler your flake they've got person. flake samplers yep. yeah um and like I said, I've, I bet we've tried six bl different yeah. uh, uh, blends, b about five Englishes and one, no, well, two now Virginias that I've tried. I'm, and, only, I'm only about to try one. And every single one has been, you know, s at, at the worst, solid. Yeah. At the worst, solid. Some of them are just fantastic. Yep. Uh, those flakes that I tried, those English flakes that I tried are just wonderful. I like them all. Yeah. So, And I do have to say one other thing from Watch City Cigar. Some of the harder to get tobaccos that I have had to try, that I've tried to find, I've used uh, Turbo10.com to find, and somehow or another, WatchCityCigar.com has a tin or two to sell. So that is one thing that is an advantageous I've found about Watch City Cigar is buy that sampler pack and you might end up finding yourself with the tin of the hard to get Gallup and Hogarth stuff, the hard to get Peter Heinrich things. If stuff I like would that. have looked harder, rat trays, they if, have some of that stuff. If I would have looked harder when I ordered these two um, things from Watch City, I would have been able to land a couple of cans of Sun Bear, the new Sun Bear. Yep. And then I looked at their website after I placed the order and realized it. And so I gave him a call. To see if you could add if it. If I could just add it to the order. And he said, man, we just sold out of that Sun Bear. They, they must only had about 15, 20 tins on hand or something like that. So, yeah, you're right. If I would have paid attention, I would have been able to get They're some one of those food. websites that just seems to get a good handle on having that stuff. They don't sell out as quick like Cup of Joe's, Pipes and Cigars, Smoking Pipes. They... And they always seem to have enough to make it last. I'll put their website on the description so that you can, you guys, if you want to uh, uh, browse through their through their collection, mm -hmm. you can definitely go straight there. All right. Well, there's another one in the in the bank for us. I think this is a solid smoke. Yeah, um, I'm glad I got to try it. Mm -hmm. um, if this, <clears throat> excuse me, if this is what a McClelland English would have tasted American like American English. Yeah, I'm not too sure I would have digged that too much. I you know, a, a lot of guys out there you guys have already tried Frog Morton, all the different variations of Frog Morton. I have not tried Frog Morton. Me neither. And so I guess I need to get a I've got a couple of cans up there waiting. Maybe break it open and just kind of see what what I'm comparing to, you know? Because everybody talks about that being the, the I know it's just you, you, it's it's almost one of those things where it has it 
feels like it has to be a celebration to crack open the can of Frog Morton. Well, I can tell you that there's a whole lot more of, of Frog... Well, I may be wrong. <laughs> yeah, I don't but know. There, there, I would think that there's more Frog Morton out there available than there was the anniversary blend, you know? And so... Yeah. Well, I don't know. We'll crack it open and we'll see. And then, we'll, then, and then at least we'll have an idea of what we can compare other Englishes to the Frog Morton. That's true. Yeah. We do need to do that. All right, guys. Well... Uh, again, thank you for all your comments and suggestions. Again, we got some great suggestions from last week's mm -hmm. video uh, that we're going to incorporate and put into our show. So thank you guys very much. Thank you. Uh, keep them coming. We do appreciate it. Don't forget. Make all your piping moments count. We'll see you next time. Have a wonderful week. Hopefully I won't get uh, too messed up on uh, vacation and lose track of time. I'll, we'll I'll get these videos posted yep. so that you guys can continue to watch those. We thank you very much. Have a great week, guys. See you guys. Bye-bye.